osmosis. Osmosis is movement of water through a semi-permeable membrane from a low solute concentration to a high solute concentration. Let's take an example. A and B solutions are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. Both A and B contain glucose. Amount of glucose dissolved in A solution is low compared to the amount dissolved in B solution. So water molecules move from A solution to the B solution through the semi-permeable membrane. This process is called osmosis. Cells do not utilize energy for this mechanism. So this is a passive transport mechanism. Osmosis is dependent on the number of solute particles dissolved in a solution. These particles are called osmotically active particles. Dissolved number of osmotically active particles in a solution is expressed either by osmolality or osmolarity. Osmolality is number of solute particles per kilogram of solvent. Osmolarity is the number of solute particles per liter of solution. To complete the description of osmosis, you also need to know about osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is the pressure which should apply on the surface of the solution to prevent the inward movement of water by osmosis. It is highly dependent on the number of osmotically active particles dissolved in the solution. More the number of osmotically active particles, more the amount of osmotic pressure required. That's all for osmosis. Like, comment and subscribe Periodica. Thank you.